Hello everyone, this is Lana Shalom. I'm giving you a quick video explaining the main, the main parts of neurographic method, something that you will need to know before you join any course or any class with Neurographica. So the, the first point I would like to make is how to draw a neural line. Watch very carefully, this is called a neural line. It's a line, just, just goes. It's not, it looks like a wavy line, but it's much more, um, much less patterned and much more, um, the right word would be spontaneous, I would say, in a way. Okay, so the way you draw a neurographical line, you always start at one end of the paper and you always finish at the other end. It can go start here and go up here, go down here go over here, uh, go diagonally, but it must start at one end of the paper and finish on the other because this line is just a part of the bigger line that we don't fully see because the paper is just a part of the bigger picture, so to say. That's the philosophy, one of the main ideas of neurographic. So when you start to draw the neural line, you put the, the marker down and you start going. So follow the neural line as your hand takes you. I was actually explaining a lot about how neural line works in the pre-session I did the other day. It's available on my Facebook profile and actually on my YouTube channel as well. It's called Lana Shalom. Please um, feel free to, free to look it up and to... Um, to watch it because it's like a 40 minute session. What I'm showing you now, okay, put your hands down and see where this session takes you. I'm not controlling where my hand goes, so just let it go. That's fine, okay? A few more times, okay? See, now the line is taking me from the bottom to the top. You can also start on top. I don't know where the line is taking me. I'm just letting it go, letting me take it. Okay, that's a neural line. There are a lot of explanations of what the neural line is symbolically, you know, philosophically, psychologically. And do feel free to watch the free neural lines video. Now, what I am going to do next is the second aspect that I would like to talk to you about. It's called the rounding. What is the rounding? The rounding is when we take any intersection that the lines, the neural lines have created on the paper, and we, it's called integration or co-joining, and we start integrating the two lines at the point of the intersection, kind of conjoining it and turning it into like, Look at this process. What I'm going to do is actually show it to you. This is a, the integral part of the neurographical drawing. So I'm gonna show it to you up close, okay? This is the intersection, okay? So the way you do the rounding process, the conjoining is, you see this angle that is created? That is something we try to avoid in neurographical because this creates a sharp end. This is a sharp end. We would like to avoid that. Sharp is something that's disharmony. You know, it does not, it's the opposite of what harmony is. We would like to bring in the new reality, to draw in the new reality, which is what we do when we draw neurographica. We would like to do it with a harmony, in a harmonious way. So as a result, we do the rounding of the angles. How do we do that? Voila. Put a kind of a part of the circle, part of the round over here, and then fill it all up. As a result, we have a no, we have no sharp ends. You see, no edges, no sharp edges. 
Sometimes people ask me, and they say, can I do a rounding process like this? And I tell them that the difference is, as all you add the circle, which is an important like shape in your graphical, that is not fully how uh, rounding works. Why? Because look what happens over here. As a result, I still have the sharp edges. So the right way to circle would be, like I said, to actually add like a little of a curve. I also call this curving out. Another curve this way and this way and this way. Voila. We have the rounding. One more, okay? So just take a paper and do exactly what I did. First do it on a big scale. Put like this big, intersections on the paper, just so you kind of get a hang of it. You kind of learn how to round. So the way we do the right rounding is look at this. We actually add the curve, adding the curve. I was teaching this once at a conference and a person approached me and said, um, you know, when you do the rounding, it actually looks like a neuron, a nu nucleus part of the neuron. And I said, that would be such an interesting um, observation. So that's what it is. Practice drawing the neural line, okay? Okay, the way the neural lines work, the rules for the neural lines is, like I said, starting from one end to another. And another important thing is that when you draw neural lines, what you avoid to do is, you avoid to do triangular type of lines. You see with sharp endings, that's something you do avoid. And what you avoid to do is you draw, you avoid drawing a pattern, no pattern, no sharp endings, and no straight lines either, okay? But do feel free to draw the neural line like this. Start and let the hand take you, okay? The hand will show you how to go. Okay? It has a life of its own. Okay, the neural line is like a life line of its own. It goes up and down, just like a person does in a lifetime. Up and down, right and left, just follow it. That's the first stage. There's another stage in neural line, but it's something you learn when you actually take the basics course and you actually, you know, practice it a lot. That's where the neural lines, you can kind of like, in a way, control how the neural lines go and control the way the neural line works in your life. Okay, so this is the basic. Um, please just practice the neural lines and practice the rounding. So you are ready for any of the courses or the workshops or the classes that we offer. Um, that is, of course, if you don't have the basics in your graphica and you have never drawn your graphica yet before. Wishing you good luck and looking forward to seeing you in our sessions and classes.